Hello, and welcome to another episode of MetaHacks brought to you by Actionable Insights. My name is Seth Harrison, and today I want to talk about visual alignment and April tags. Sometimes when you're in a commercial space, for example, you'll have what they refer to as empty or repetitive architecture. Here's a great picture on the support article on their website of empty and repetitive. Also think long hallways in a hospital or shelving at a library or Costco. The Matterport camera is trying to figure out where it is in space and time, but at the same time, if everything looks the same, that can complicate the process. Thankfully, Matterport has this feature called April Tags. April Tags, you've seen them before. We have a video uh, in our equipment corral on April Tags specifically, but they look like this. They're QR codes that you would put on a wall in various areas to ensure that the camera has a reference point in this empty and repetitive architecture. And you can see some guidance on placing the markers uh, down here. I'll put this link in the description of this email for a quick reference. But I wanted to shoot a video on my iPad that shows you how to turn on uh, April tags. It's actually a feature in the settings that you must turn on. So let's take a look. So here I have my capture app open. I'm going to go into the menu in the top left. I'm going to go to settings and privacy. And you'll see assisted alignment. I'm going to hit the eye here. So you can see what it brings me to. It brings me to the glossary and describes the visual alignment. It references April tags in it. Uh, but if you saw in the previous screen that it wasn't actually turned on yet. So I'm going to go back to settings and privacy in my menu. I'm going to turn on assisted alignment. And now my April tags are working. So that's April tags. That can be very helpful in the process of scanning a large uh, space where there's somewhat repetitive architecture along the way. Other helpful tips, you can put out a cone or a trash can in different places in different hallways that gives a grounding point. But keeping a stack of these April tags, maybe up to 30 or 50 at least, uh, in your Pelican case that you're carrying around your Matterport with is super helpful regardless, because you never know what call you're going to get and what loss you're going to end up on next. So this has been another Matter Hack. I hope you've enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next week.